Hi guys, John here from Optics Warehouse again. So today we're going to be looking at the basics of your first focal plane versus second focal plane rifle scopes. So obviously that's going to be your pros and cons, what you're going to be missing or what you're missing out on either way. So this first one we're looking at here is the first focal plane model. So when you're looking through that, as you can see, you've got the yellow circle in the middle and that stays at the exact same size in them first set of aim points around the outside edge. Now the good thing about that, it doesn't matter what magnification you're on, you're going to be using the same aim point no matter what. So if, especially if you miss and you need to then calculate how far you've missed by for dialing in, it really helps with measuring that and either dialing in or aiming accordingly for it. So moving on to the second focal plane model, as you can see with this, the same lines that you were looking at previously start off larger than the circle and then they come down to fit inside as you turn the magnification up. Now the nice thing about the reticle is it does stay the same size which means it's nice and fine and doesn't obscure any of your targets. However, when you are using it like that, you've got to have different aim points for every magnification you use unless you're going to spend time working out exactly what movement you've got between them. So just to summarise across the two scopes that you can see on the picture, the first focal plane, as you can see, when the magnification is low, it is quite a small fine reticle. And obviously as you increase that, it can get to the point where it's going to obscure certain bits of your target, especially if you target shooting. Now for hunting, that's not ever an issue. It does do very well, as I say, for quick reference and quick adjustments in the field. First focal plane is definitely the way forward. If you want pinpoint precision at your high mag and for the reticle not to take over, that's where the second focal plane is going to come into it. Now, second focal plane is what most of you will be used to using. It's sort of your off-the-shelf type one that's it's been around for years and it's, it is the most popular scope you're going to go for. It takes a little bit of homework and once you've set up your ranges on your magnifications levels that you're happy with using, it is really straightforward but you've just got that bit in the back of your mind that you've got to remember what magnification you're on when you're using your holdover. Obviously dialing for both reticle types doesn't matter. Your dialing will still be exactly the same. It just helps with the first focal plane on measuring that dials so you don't have to, it takes a lot of the guesswork out of it. So I hope that's covered everything for you and you feel a little bit more enlightened about first and second focal plane scopes and what one may suit your needs more. Once again, if there's any more videos you'd like us to do or any more tutorials or information, just give us a like, uh, put a comment down below and we'll do our best to get back to you.